I've been wearing Ralph Lauren swimsuits for a couple of years now, but the um, problem is, you know, I, I, I bought them in a couple of different, um, diff couple of different colors, same style, and um, you know they look really nice. Uh, they are comfortable. The inside is comfortable. It's got um, you know drawstring there. It's got Velcro here, and um, half of it is elastic in the back, and the other part is just you know the the pull tight through the um, strings. But the problem I've had is that on all pairs, this uh, elastic has worn out to the point where they no longer fit. They're just too big on me. And it wasn't a case of, um, you know, growing out of them or growing too big and expanding them. They literally just lost their elasticity, you know, very easily. Um, it's not dried out or anything like that. Um, just, I don't know. And they retail for $70. You can get them on sale in the season sometimes, either directly from Ralph Lauren or other sites for, you know, $50, $40, even if you're really lucky. Um, the uh, so and I was searching for new new swimsuits and um, you know Shein's very big. I'm heard I told her you know they're very cheap. So I checked it out. I bought a few pairs. I wanted to show you the difference. Um, mainly being you know first of all if you look at the um, the Ralph Lauren, it's made of 100% nylon um, and uh, the lining is 100% polyester. So I'm going to show you some of these Shein's that I bought. Uh, I'll start with this one, but one of the big differences is if you look at the label here, this is 85% polyester, 15% spandex. So, and you can actually, it actually looks a little bit flimsier, and it is. It's a much thinner material. Um, hard to explain, and I don't think you're going to necessarily pick up on it uh, here. But if you look at a Ralph Lauren, let's say, Um, it, it definitely feels a bit thicker and this has that like thin spandexy kind of feel to it and feels like polyester whereas this does feel like a nylon and a thicker uh, material. So um, does that really bother me? Uh, not necessarily unless it starts, you know, <laughs> too thin that it starts revealing stuff, but I'll show you that in a second. It doesn't really do that. Um, but also has the drawstrings and this is elastic all the way around. If you can see that. So, and the lining uh, was very comfortable, same thing, all lined. Some people cut those out, I'm not sure why. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose if you have to start wearing underwear and not many people are gonna go commando. So um, as far as like shape and structure, uh, not much to it versus the Ralph Lauren. Um, about the same length. Um, but the reason why I was keen on these is because this has a zip up pocket which is super, super handy. Whether you are putting your wallet in there, doing any kind of sports, um, it fits a um, uh, your, your cell phone, <laughs> for that matter. You know, that just goes right in there and plenty of room for, for more. But for me also, um, I featured this in a different video. This is a waterproof carrying case. It's amazing for any kind of water sports, resorts, uh, water parks, um, but oh, I'm just gonna close it. it's pretty thick and everything, but this fits in there as well. No issues whatsoever. So for me, that was key. Ended up buying two. And uh, this is the other one. Actually, this is the one without the pocket. But it's the same kind of deal whereby it's that kind of thinner material. But it's one you know, Shein makes all kinds of looks, crazy patterns and everything. I just wanted something simple. Um, navy, white, same deal. It's got the lining. It's got uh, elastic all around and the drawstring. So I'll show you these in a second on. No pockets in this one. Uh, sorry, no zip-up pockets, that is. But they do have pockets, which are always hand handy. And then finally, uh, didn't love... <laughs> this, but I mentioned the price point on the uh, Ralph Lauren. These were $7, I think, on sale. And the most expensive one was like $11. So, <laughs> and that was the one I just showed you. Um, you know what, for that price, you can't beat it. But again, even on this one, you'll see like, certainly a much flimsier material. You can, can't see through it, but 
you can definitely see that it flaps about. And um, as opposed to say these, you can just you can see, feel, whatever that they're thicker. Now these were great too. These had a, a, a Velcro pocket in here, not a zip up, so it wasn't 100% secure. But um, I used to put stuff in here without issue. So these aren't a bad set of, um, <laughs> and you know, look, they they are definitely a bit more stylish. They got the name, um, but hey, these do the job. So let me show you what they look like. Oh, and these uh, were perfect for wearing under my dive suit. Don't judge. Uh, it's very hard. <laughs> you can't go commando. You usually can't. And wearing one of these or any type of men's bathing suit, normal bathing suit, uh, would just bunch up and be really uncomfortable, cause chafing and all sorts. So uh, these are super cheap too, but well worth it. All right, let me show you what they look like on and uh, do a little comparison. So these are the Ralph Lauren and um, you know, they are quite good looking, I think. Um, I used to like them a lot, except they just <laughs> don't fit anymore. Uh, this got, you know, the Velcro pocket, the regular pocket, and uh, you know, it's stylish. Uh, but the problem is, you know, this elastic part is wore off and now it's just simply, it's weak and <laughs> too risky. It, uh, it doesn't fit properly anymore. And part of that problem is, you know, so this is the uh, non-velcro or non-elastic part. This was supposed to be elastic, and this is the part that wore out. Now, why can't you just make it tighter? Uh, because there's Velcro here where the crotch is, and if you just try to keep making it cinching it tighter and moving across, there's no Velcro to line up. So this is literally the maximum you can make it, um, and that just doesn't work in the long run. So uh, I was in the market for the new ones, and so. Uh, Let's check out those Shein. So these are the Shein, the pink ones, and um, yeah, I mean, obviously they're a lot tighter. Uh, I'm not going to really pull off, I can probably even tie them tighter. Um, but to be fair, I haven't had to use more than one season, so we'll have to see how they hold up. Now, as far as thin, you can kind of see that they're, you know, a lot more flimsy. <laughs> um, back is, uh, you know, this is fully elastic all around. Um, here as well. So these are the ones with the zipper. Zipper on both sides, by the way. You got to open on this one. Um, so that's great. Because whether you're in a resort, uh, at a pool, whatever you are, at a beach, pockets are always handy and that zip makes it that much safer. <laughs> fit well, these are tight as well, not going to come off. Simple drawstring and a little bit of elasticity. Uh, these, have, uh, these have the same pocket. Uh, it's got red on the inside, but nobody actually sees that. The length is, uh, I think that works with me. Uh, you can jack them up if you want. Um, but most people are gonna probably tend to wear them down here, yeah. And um, back. I'm not going to see through them, but yeah, they're definitely a lot more flimsy. I mean, some people may like that because they feel looser. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right, so the length on these is a little bit shorter from here, you know, at least over the knee or under the knee. And uh, I don't mind that. It, uh, it's a bit tighter fit as well, which I don't mind either. Um, kind of don't like too loose. And um, this is is even more secure, so um, I'm a fan. And I like the white traditional waterfall. Uh, no zipper, but uh, pockets nonetheless. Same thing, you know, uh, it's got the elastic and it's got uh, the drawstring. These drawstrings aren't going to wear out either, as the Ralph Lauren started to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be back to you as soon as possible. If you found this all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe below. Thank you for joining me.